ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವೆಂಕಟಮ್ಮ ಕಿನ್ನನ್ ಎಸ್ ಚತುರ್ದಂಡಿ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಿಕ ದಿ ಮೇಳಕರ್ತ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಲೇಟರ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಮೇಳಕರ್ತ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಚಾರ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಮೇಳಕರ್ತ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ as you can see they are grouped the 72 melakattas are grouped in sixes and we have 12 such groups each group having six melakattas if you remember that is how the melakattas were actually generated every combination of ri and ga can um, can be combined with six combinations of dha and ni will become clear if you look at this if you take the first chakra which is each group of six melakartas is called a chakra and these chakras also have names and uh, the first chakra for instance is called indu indu chakra indu means the moon we have only one moon and so it is called indu chakra the second chakra is called netra netra means eye we have two eyes the third is called agni there are three fires in hindu ritualism there are three fires and so it is called agni the fourth chakra is called veda there are four vedas and so on the fifth and the sixth is called ritu there are six ritu six seasons and it goes on seven as rishi there are sapta rishis this is indu chakra the first group of six melakartas 1 2 3 4 5 6 so <coughs> the first combination of ri and ga ri one ga one that is maintained throughout this chakra and it is mavan the first combination of dha and ni are the first combination of dha and ni is this the second combination is this the third is this dhaman ni 3 dha 2 ni 2 dha 2 ni 3 dha 3 ni 3 we saw all this in the uh, some time ago Mavan in fact will remain constant for the first 36 melakartas that is also we saw some uh, that's also something we saw Mavan will remain constant for the first 36 melakartas and in fact 37th onwards the melakartas will take the same swaras as in the first 36 except that m1 will become m2 so that is actually the scheme with which the 72 melakartas are generated now let me try to sing this for you <coughs> you have to bear with me i am uh, laboring with a, a slight congestion sari ga this is this will remain constant for all the six uh mere katha in fact sari ga ma pa all these five are going to be constant for all these six uh these six mere katha sari ga ma pa This is the first Melakartha. If you remember, Melakartha is just a scale, a combination of swaras, seven swaras. So I don't have to sing. Padhani sa 
As I mentioned, the Melakartas are these, Sarigama Padhani. Just this is the Melakarta, just a scale, a combination of the seven swaras. But all of these have been uh, worked into ragas. And we have compositions in these 72 Melakartas. We even have a Mela uh, Raga Malika. So, if I have to sing the Kanakangi Raga, you Sari Gama Padhani Sa Sani Dhapa Magari Sa. This is Kanakangi, the first Melakatta. And all these Shwaras are Shuddha Swaras. So, if we have to uh, say, which is the Shuddha Swara scale? Scale with all the Shuddha Swaras in contemporary Carnatic music, it is this. Sari Gama Padhani Sa Sani Dhapa Magari Sa. I mean, in the history of music, this has not always been the Shuddha scale. But well, that's something we need not go into. And in fact, even in contemporary Hindustani music, the Shuddha scale is actually what is called the major scale or what in Carnatic music is called the Shankara Bhanam scale. So in a, at any event, this Kanakangi is the Shuddha scale in Carnatic music, contemporary Carnatic music. Now let's go to Ratnangi. So, Sari Gama Pa Same. Dha Ni, that is ni. Sari gama pad, padhani. No. Sari gama padhani. That is ratnangi. The ni is ni too. What is called kaishiki nishayana. Gana murti is mm, sari gama padhani. There is Kakali Nishada, Nitri. When we go to Vanaspati, the Dha also changes to this is Shuddha Dha. First three Melakatas take the Shuddha Dha. Fourth and fifth take the Chatushruti Dhevata. In the Nishada also, there is Sari Gama Pada Neen. This is Vanaspati. Sari Gama Padani. This is the fifth Melakarta. Tana rupees. Sari Gama Padani. This Tatri. So, this is how. We have um, the 72 Melakartas grouped in sixes. They are uh, arranged in groups of six. And each group is called a chakra. Now, how does this Melakarta system work? As you would remember, we are here talking of classifying ragas. Melakarta system was advanced to classify ragas. So let us take um, let us take a Melakarta, which is the twenty-second Melakarta, Karahara Priya. Karahara Priya um, has the largest number of ragas grouped under it. So each of these Melakartas will have other ragas grouped under them. Other ragas which take the same swaras. There is a 22nd Melakarta actually. We have heard Karahara Priya earlier last week. 
and the notes of this are sari ga sari ga ma pa da ni this is the karahara priya mela karta and of course sampurna raga which is itself karahara priya that would be grouped under it Sari ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma pa da ga ma ga ri ri ga ma ga ga ri ri sa ni sa ri ga ga ri ri sa ni sa ri ga 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 ri ri sa. This itself would be classified in this mela karta. The khara khara priya itself is a. In fact, this is called the Mela Karta Raga. Karahara Priya is called the Mela Karta Raga. And then we have many ragas. For instance, Shri Ranjani is one. Now, Shri Ranjani takes these for us. Sa Sa Ri Ga Ma Da Ni Sa Sa Ni Da Ma Ga Ri this is it skips the panchama and so this is classified under karahara priya so we would say shri ranjani is a janya raga of karahara priya janya actually means born of as we saw earlier then we have a raga called abhogi Sari ga ma da sa sa da ma ga ri sa. So it doesn't have pa. It doesn't have ni. Sari ga ma da sa sa da ma ga ri sa. So Shri Ranjani is a shada varaga, six varas. This is a outa varaga. It has five varas. Abhogi is also a janya raga of. karahara priya and then we have a raga called jaya manohari which goes like this sa ri ga ma da sa so aroha has five swaras but abroha has six sa ni da ma ga ri sa sa ri ga ma da sa sa ni da ma ga ri sa this is also a janya of karahara priya we have many many other janya ragas of karahara priya shri raga madhyam avati and so on kaki many ragas Hussain. So that is how the Mela Karta system works, and it achieves some kind of order, some way of grouping the ragas that are actually there in Carnatic music. It just groups them together. It brings them together. to what purpose that's a different question but the idea is that you're able to group ragas together under a under, under a certain classification system in this case the, uh, they are all grouped under the same scale from which they take swaras so <coughs> all this works if the raga if a raga takes swaras from just one scale and not from two scales that also can happen and that also does happen if you look at shri ranjani or abhogi or jay manyuti now they take swaras only from this that is no other swara 
other than these occur in these ragas. So, they can be easily classified under Karaharapriya Mela. And since and these such ragas are called Upanga ragas. That is, they are completely subsumed under this Melakarta. But we have ragas which take swaras from two scales. A classic example, a very well known example is Bhairavi. Bhairavi goes like this Sagare Sagare Gama Padani Sa. This is actually just these swaras, Karahara Priya swaras. The same swarasthanas. R2, G2, Mavan, Datu, and Nitu. But in the Avaroha, Sanidapa, he takes the, takes Dhavan. So we have Bhairavi, which is a very major raga in Carnatic music. So, in terms of the swarasthanas, you can see they are the same. Gatu, Ritu, Mavan, Datu, Nitu. But the Avaroha descent is like this. So, the Dha in the Avaroha is different and it belongs to a, ra, a Mela Karta called Natta Bhairavi. occurring is, uh, is something that is very important in Bhairavi and that Bhairavi as, as such cannot be categorized under either Karaharapriya or Nata Bhairavi. Ragas like Bhairavi which take from two different scales they are called Bhashanga Ragas. And ragas that can completely be subsumed under any one Melakarta are called Upanga ragas. So, in description of ragas, we often use expressions like Upanga, Bhashanga, Janya, and all these are in the context of classifying ragas under Melakartas.